Howdy folks, and welcome back to my World of Tanks replays with the mighty jingles. Uh, yep, unusual one for you today. I've only ever done one artillery replay. That was in my GW Panther. And this is my Geschutzwagen Tiger. My GW Tiger. Tier 7 German artillery. I don't do many artillery replays because I don't usually play artillery. Um, I started playing them because I got sick and tired of getting killed by them. And I figured, well, um, let's learn how they do what they do. And... And learn how to avoid getting killed by them, and you know, it kind of worked. Uh, and I did end up enjoying playing artillery, but as time went on, uh, I started enjoying it less and less. And that's basically because of the people who don't play artillery. <laughs> um, they all hate you. Most of the time, they're just as happy to see you die as, uh, as, as the tanks on the enemy team. And even when you do a fantastic job, you very, very rarely get any thanks for it. In fact, it's been my experience that even when you do do a very good job with artillery, nobody recognises it, and they just blame you for their own failures anyway. And this is why I really don't play artillery anymore. Um, and, th and this game is a perfect example. Now... It's very, very difficult to hide as artillery on mines because the hiding spots are so small and so obvious. And what I always do when I'm playing artillery is the first thing I go for is enemy artillery, counter battery fire. So we've already killed one of them. And now we've killed two of them. Now, if you have a look at the map, if you look at the northeastern corner of the hill, uh, we've got control of the hill. I'm in a platoon here with uh, one other tier 7 artillery and a Batchat. The Batchat is scouting for us, as well as, you know, doing what Batchats do. Um, and we're prioritising enemy artillery. Now, all of our heavy tanks, with the exception of one, I don't know what it is, down there on the south uh, western side, all of our heavy tanks are taking turns peeking around the corner of the hill and getting shot at by their heavy tanks. Now, take note that we now have a 2 to 1 artillery advantage because our artillery have killed two of their artillery. Frozy and his bat chat is now letting us know to switch our attention back to the artillery park because he's going to go and make a scouting run. So now we're now about to kill all of their artillery. So these heavy tanks on the corner over here are only facing the enemy heavy tanks because the enemy artillery is about to be completely neutralised. And despite that, they still couldn't look after themselves. And that, and also bear in mind, they're not getting shot at by enemy artillery. Right, it's just tank versus tank here. Okay, somebody else is shooting at the Type E. So I will get the 212. There's no sense in all four of us shooting at one target. Okay, Type E's about to die. The 212 just popped out of range. But look behind my aiming circle, you can see... There it goes. Adjust, fire. Shoot me kills the Type E. I get the 212. The enemy team now have no artillery. Now we can start supporting these guys who are so keen to poke their noses around the northeastern corner of that hill and get themselves shot at. And this, according to the heavy tank drivers on our team, is all our fault. Take note that the only damage that has been caused to every everything other that close. than that IS-7 that has been caused by friendly artillery. These guys are doing nothing but bouncing off the front of that E-100. So all the dead friendly tanks there have been killed by enemy f tanks with, without the help of artillery. And now our artillery is raining hell from above on these fellas and they're still not capable of defending themselves and if you play artillery oh, this isn't going to come i mean i'm preaching to the crowd they're already starting to complain that they haven't received any help from artillery excuse me would you look at what's going on here would, would you look at what's dead and who's killed them but don't let 
you know, tank drivers. Well, this is unfair. Idiots never let things like facts get in the way of their argument. The GW Tiger takes 35 seconds to reload after it's fired. It takes an age to aim after it's fired. Guys, just because artillery is not raining shells down with laser-like precision on the tank right in front of your face does not mean they're not doing their best to help win the game. Now, according to this mouse driver down here, um, artillery, artillery have been asleep the entire game. It's just, what, seriously? Look at the scores. Look at what's dead. We are actually winning. We are capping. All we have to do is hold them off. Uh, but no. And there, there he is, in chat. What the fuck is our RT doing, really? Use your eyes. Look, <laughs> look at the scoreboard. Look at what is dead. Isn't it obvious what artillery is doing? But no. We're winning the game. But in the eyes of certain tank drivers... Their death is the personal responsibility of friendly artillery. And it's because of stupid, ignorant arseholes like this mouse driver. Like this idiot here. And there are a lot of them around that I don't play artillery anymore. Because, I mean, look at this. Even when you are responsible for 80% of the destruction of the enemy team. Even when you are responsible for the complete neutralization in the first five minutes of the match of all of the enemy's artillery, it's still... There's still somebody on the team who's going to blame artillery for their own ineptitude. Uh, <laughs> and I just don't have the time to put up with it. So, sorry guys. Um, I did consider myself to be a pretty good artillery player. But not anymore. Uh, I no longer play artillery. I've sold my GW Tiger. I've sold, sold my GW Panther. Uh, I just got sick of the abuse. So, directly thanks to people like that mouse driver, there is one less competent artillery player in the match, which just means there's a lot more retards to go around. Be careful what you wish for, fellas. You might get it. So, that was the GW Tiger playing a blinder of a game on mines and illustrating why I no longer play my artillery. Uh, hope you enjoyed the replay more than I enjoyed the game and I'll see you next time.